Hey guys, it's Kristen, and I just want to quickly show you how you can download my Procreate brushes. So when you're ready to check out, you just enter your email, and this will send the files straight to your email, and click on check out. And then if you're downloading from my PayHip site, you will see the um, files right there for you that are available to use. And this is also being sent to your email as well. So you can just click on one and then you'll get a page that looks like this and just click open in Procreate. Now you have to go into Procreate and actually open up one of your canvases and click on, wait for that to load, click on the brushes and you can see it's right there under imported brushes. Okay, so that's there ready for you to use. That was really easy to do, right? Okay, so another way is, um, let me just get out of this program and go into pro back into PayHip. And if you clicked on more, instead it will bring up a little box of all the different ways you can save. Um, Dropbox, Google Drive, right to your iPad, however you'd like to store it, but I'm just going to select Procreate again. And you can see, right there it is. So I'm just going to delete that so I don't have multiples again because I have these saved in another place. So there you have it, that's another way you could do it. Now um, let's click into our email and you can, oh, gotta refresh. So, okay, there it is. Um, there you will have the email that was sent to you. So you can, again, just click on download files. And, okay. So um, then it's going to essentially bring you back to the same screen we were at before. Um, we just got to it from our email this time. And um, just tap on one of the files. You'll see this looks familiar, but this time I'm gonna click on this send icon in the top right. And we're getting kind of the same pop-up box. So this time I'm gonna try to save it straight to my iPad. So I click save to files and I have a Procreate folder there. So I just click add. And it's asking me if, um, it's telling me I have a duplicate. So I'm just going to click replace because I've, I've done this previously. Okay, um, so now let's open up Procreate and click on new set because we wanna, I wanna create a, um, a file for all of this, these same type of watercolor brushes. So I'm just going to call this watercolor class and it's blank now, but if you tap the plus sign and then in the top right, tap import, we can bring in our brushes this way. So you're just going to find where you stored your brush on your iPad and tap on that and then it brings it in that way as well. Now a third way and my personal favorite way is to swipe up from the bottom quickly and it brings up your dock and if you have where you store your brushes in there you're going to tap hold and drag and wait for that to move over and drop that in to get that multi-screen side-by-side -side look. Open up your brushes and then just drag and drop your brush from where you have it stored right into the Procreate app like so. Really super easy. And once you're done, just swipe it back over to get back to full Procreate. I'm going to delete the extra brush and there you have it.